Worship Space One King, One Kingdom is happening on Saturday, the 8th of July. It's the Victory Heights Bible Camp. And joining us in studio this morning, we have two individuals, Antonio Roberts, the event coordinator, and Jariel Hero, creative team member. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? Very good. Very Thank good. You. Glad to be here. Excited, you know, looking forward to the conversation. I love the energy yeah. this morning. I love the fact that we're also sort of all matching yes, as I know. well. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> and I like the fact that we have some branded t-shirts. This is Definitely. what we are talking about. So let's talk about worship space and the vision. Mm -hmm. I mean, how did it start? And I know that this is a special team as well. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about that. Let's go with you, Antonio. Sure. Um, so, Wish of Space actually was booted last year, June 5th. Mm -hmm. You know, I would have contacted some of my friends um, to do what I would have called a worship line. Mm -hmm. um, because a lot of my friends, they are like musicians, fellow singers, that kind of thing. And we connected by me. And we just had a free space where we just sang worship and it was unstructured. And I think that that booted a desire and a fire inside of us. Like, you know, we want other persons to experience what we just experienced, mm -hmm. you know. And I would have connected with another friend. Um, his name is Joseph. That same week when we had that worship line last year. And, you know, he was telling me that. It was on his heart to do a worship night, and this was coming off of the heels of the worship line that we just did. So for me, it was like, okay, God, like let's do something, you know, because <laughs> it, 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 like this couldn't be a, a coincidence. Mm -hmm. And the worship space vision was was booted there, and we started to reach out to different persons, like mm -hmm. Juriel and so many other persons came on board to support the vision, the whole idea of uniting the body of Christ, especially the youthful body of Christ, mm -hmm. through worship. And that's something that's so important, because knowing that your entire team is under 25 years yeah. old, especially in these times, and of course, many things that we would have all gone through when it comes to being part of community, mm -hmm. it's beautiful beautiful to see the youth being able to come together. But you said something. You yeah. said fellow musicians. Yeah. So share with us. You're a musician, an artist. What do yeah, you do? Yeah, I, I, I am a musician. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't call myself a professional, but, you know, I, I try my best. <laughs> um, so I play the keyboard and a little bit of bass guitar. Mm -hmm. And generally speaking, I would just call myself a passionate creative. All right, great. So. so passionate creative and yeah. creative team member. How yes. did it feel when you were approached to be a part of this? Or were you just there at the line and said, all right, I'm going to do this too? <laughs> so I wasn't there at the line. Mm -hmm. But when they um, contact, first they contacted my sister because mm -hmm. she has experience in the whole production and logistics. And then she kind of spoke to me and I was like, sure, I don't mind helping. So last year I was helping and kind of head, I don't want to say head, but because everybody was kind of, put pitch pit in in different right. areas so i dealt with administration and logistics mm -hmm. but this year kind of took a different turn um and kind of helping the creative side of it so we're doing the social media and the content and all of that beforehand as well as only night itself okay so what can we expect from this year so this year we kind of want to take a different approach we want to focus more on worship and the power that worship has mm -hmm. uh, last year we had a message and spoke a word and a few activities and stuff but this year we want to try and give it a little more space in terms of how the youth can experience God's presence through worship because I think sometimes we look past the fact on how powerful worship can be yeah. in terms of reaching to God and spending time with him so this year we kind of want to just dive deep into that let's talk about this year's theme one king and one kingdom who yeah. came up with this yeah so um, so myself Joseph and uh, also fellow team member Troy, like we were talking and we felt like, you know, like in this season um, of, of, of life here, that God was really calling us to build his kingdom, to mm -hmm. expand his kingdom. There's a verse in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 that says, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all things will be added. And we felt like God was really calling us to expand his kingdom. So on the night, um, you know, we want to encourage persons who may not be a part of the kingdom that, hey, God has a special space just for you. Mm -hmm. And if you are already part of the kingdom, we want to encourage them to truly live with that kingdom mindset. Wonderful. So I have yeah. a question for both of you now. So we're going to start with you. Okay. Sure. What do you see for the future of worship space? I think the idea of worship space is, for me personally, mm -hmm. is really allowing the youth of Trinidad and Tobago to have an environment that they feel comfortable in. Right. I think the society that we have now, it's very, um, I don't want to use the word negative, but I think when you hear youth of Trinidad and Tobago, it's sort of a concerned 
idea yes. that comes into your mind. Mm -hmm. And I think Worship Space really gives that environment, as I said, for them to come and use their passions and their talents and their gifts to make a space for them that they could feel um, heard and their voice could feel understood and they could come and just express themselves in the way that they want to. And which is basically, yes, the event is a one night only thing mm -hmm. where you come, you're saying and you hear a message, you interact with other youth, but we don't want it to just be worship on one night each year. We want it to be an environment where youth could come and express themselves and feel comfortable enough to be around other people their age. You know, it's not always about an adult and a youth. Yes. It's being able to relate to them on their level and interact with them with what they know and what they understand. Definitely, because community is so important yeah, as so well, true. and it's one of the critical components of being able to sit and worship Definitely. and be a part of the kingdom, is being able to sit down and have interesting conversations and, of course, praise. Yeah. Now, what about you? Where do you see worship space in the yeah. future? So just echoing what Juriel said there, um, you know, we really want to continue that mission that we believe God gave us, which is to create spaces that we could unite especially the youthful body of christ here in trinidad so that may come through other creative means it may come through um, other types of events it may come through smaller more intimate events who knows it may come through creating original music um, so guys look out for that um, but the whole idea here is that we just want to continue to create spaces that we could unite, um, especially you'd say in Trinidad and Tobago. Okay, so you're talking about creating spaces, and you did mention, of course, Gerald, there's a lot going on on social media. Yes. So where can we stay in touch? Where can we follow and even reach out if we want to partner with you? Right, so we have four different ways that you could reach out to us. You can reach us on Instagram, which is Worship Space Live, mm -hmm. Facebook, which is Worship Space. Um, we also have a website, which is spacelive.com, mm -hmm. and you can contact us at 363-4959. 363 And now, I know your team is under 25, right? Yeah. But what about, is it that it's open to those who may be above 25 who are interested in being a part of it, or is this solely a youth-oriented um, group? Yeah, definitely. I mean, our mission is to unite the body of Christ, not only youth. Um, so, you know, all are welcomed, but, you know, our team is young, so we would attract a younger audience, generally speaking, but all are welcomed. Understood. Now, what about, um, oh, you're seeing on the screen here, yeah. when would this have been from? So this was last year's okay. event. Um, this is some pictures of the night itself with during the worship and you saw some activities and Jazzy speaking as well last year. Um, I think the whole idea of seeing it on pictures is still like, wow, you know, you can't believe it happened because I'm watching back. It's like, the pictures don't do it justice, trust me. If you had been there last year, you would know how powerful the night was. And yeah. I think also being, working in it, you know, Antonio still being part of the worship team, but me as well as the other teams, team members, sorry, um, the logistics and stuff, you sometimes get caught up in it. But right. last year, you were still able to enjoy the worship. And I think that's something really important to focus on definitely something beautiful now for those of you who are interested of course the information is on your screen you can be a part of worship space just joining us in studio we have jerry Hero, creative team member and of course antonia roberts event coordinator and i will say founder as well part of that part, founding part of the founding team. team yeah it's been a pleasure to be with both of you this morning we'll see you back on the now morning show Hello, it's my